Y'all, we went from being early to sitting down and eating and being late, and now we have to run to the I told you I wasn't going to do this, Mackenzie. Is the door closed? No way. There's literally no one here. Hold on. What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today is gonna be a little fun video. It's gonna be a get ready with me, a travel with me, a go to the game with me. It's bonnet cam, it's the morning. Y'all know if I'm home and my hair is done, my bonnet is usually on. I have my little Louis Vuitton scarf on to tie my edges down. And then I'm wearing my XO by Kamaya long bonnet. I absolutely love this bonnet because if I wave it, if I curl it, like I can keep my style because it's long. So make sure you guys go get your long bonnet from XO by Kamaya. But like I said, you guys are gonna be getting ready with me today. My makeup artist just pulled up. Arika's here, shout out to her. Check her out if you need her in the DMV, y'all. At already underscore perfect. I will tag her right here so you guys can see her page, but she's the best, the only person I trust with my face. Mackenzie will be over in a little bit because we are going on a road trip. Well, not a road trip because we're flying, but we're gonna have a little travel day. The guys play up in Brooklyn tonight at Barclays Center. And so we're gonna go up there and support it. We gotta put on for the Wizards fans, you guys, we are 2-0 and oh so far. If you haven't checked out our season home opener video, make sure to check it out. So much fun, all the vibes, you guys. But yes, we are going to hurry up and get our makeup done, do our hair, rush over to New York, land literally at 4.30 in the middle of rush hour, you guys, get over to the hotel to change and put our clothes on and make it to the game by 7. <laughs> we might be pushing it a little bit, but we are gonna get it done, okay? I'm about to sneak off to the garage and get my makeup done because my kids are home today, there's no school, and that's that's the only way I can get my makeup done. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a child on my lap, a child hanging from my back, a child asking for snacks. It's just gonna be a lot. Alika is getting me together. I need some moisturizer on my lips. I'm out here looking like Dave Chappelle right now. Mackenzie's late, y'all. It's 10 minutes after 12. She was supposed to be here at 12. Typical Mackenzie, true MCP fashion. Y'all, she has arrived. She was late, but was she's not arrived. Late. I had a plus one. She was late and brought an uninvited guest. <laughs> we finally made it out the house. Got our hair done, our makeup. Well, I still gotta touch my hair. Up. Makeup done. Our flight is at 3:20, and it is 2:15. <laughs> In true MCP and cam fashion. I'm always late to the airport though. And I always say I'm not gonna run through an airport and I always end up having to run through the airport. We're gonna make it on time though because we already don't land until 4.30 in the middle of rush hour. So we're on the way though. Surprising enough, we are not having to run through the airport. We made it with an hour before our flight. We about to go get some food. I'm excited because the side of the airport we're on is the side that has one of my favorite little healthy places to eat, Kava. We're about to go through Clear, go get us something to eat and I need a drink. Tequila? Tequila. Let's do it. I'm literally so happy that we're on this side so I can get kava. For those of you who don't know what kava is, I like to describe it as like the Mediterranean Chipotle. It's so good, you guys. Can I have a greens and grains bowl with brown rice? It's gonna be two bowls the same way. With spinach and arugula. Yeah, guys, I'm putting you on right now by letting you hear my order. I put MCP on kava. I got her the same thing as me and now that's the same thing she orders. I'm telling y'all, this is the order. Get like you three a times a week. Three times a week and it's healthy, you guys. We do the greens and grains bowl. We put a little bit of brown rice and we do spinach and arugula, crazy feta, hummus, and the red harissa. That red harissa gives it the perfect amount of spice. Chicken. One scoop of veggies. And can we get an order of chips and crazy feta? Tomatoes and cucumbers, corn and feta, lemon herb tahini, and then just a splash of yogurt dill. Just a tiny bit, please. You guys, this bowl, I'm trying to tell you. Heaven, and can I also get the pita bread that comes with it, please? Now we're about to be fat and go get some snacks and drink. As much as I wanted to get a Dr. Pepper, MCP made me get a water to be healthy. So we decided since I'm not getting my Dr. Pepper and just water, I'm taking my ass to Starbucks next. Bag secured and the drink. About to go in real quick before we have to board our flight. We literally were able to scarf down like two bites before they started boarding. So we had to pack our food up and we got to get on the plane, but about to get on this plane. And I still need my drink. I swear I need a shot of tequila. I have anxiety because there's always turbulence going from DC to New York or New York to DC. So pray for me, y'all. MCP back there vlogging too. Okay, we made it. Do you need it? I, can't wipe I just want y'all to see this because she tells me I can't have a Dr. Pepper and I have to eat lettuce only, but look at her. Lucky I can't zoom in. You in my business? I'm doing that because I got to eat lettuce while she over here eating trolley sour gummy worms. Lettuce spray. Hey 
Okay guys, we made it. We're gonna go try and find our driver now. We done passed up the baggage claim. Thank you. What happened to the escalator? I feel like we supposed to be going down. Oh my God, we have to take the stairs? Okay, yes, yeah, so we have to go back around. There gotta be an elevator. This is so ghetto. Well, if you had a wheelchair, I'd be leaning you backwards and holding it while we go down the stairs like I do with the stroller. Let's struggle. Carrying this bag down. It's giving. It's giving real good. I hell no, I don't want to raise the and fall down the stairs. Look at you. You forgot I played soccer. My knee's bad. favorite part about getting in the car y'all taking the mask off girl Mackenzie and Evelyn are my two friends that always have to pee pee always I call them the pee pee girls literally so we got outside and Mackenzie's like I have to pee but I also put the address into my ways and it said an hour and two minutes and I'm hoping that's not accurate maybe like my GPS hadn't caught up yet or something but I'm about to find out how long is it showing to the hotel an hour and five minutes? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. She's coming right now, I see her. Come on, PP girl. Good news and bad news, what you want? Let me down first and bring me up. Bad news is it is an hour and five minutes to get there, even though it's 15 miles. The good news is he's gonna try and find another route, and even if it does take that long, we will still have plenty of time to reflip your ponytail, touch up our makeup, and still make it on time, even though the flip is still there. Is it giving to Cindy Lou Who? It's, no, that's it's, going it's give, you're going for Cindy Lou Who? Cindy Lou. Not Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou. Okay, it, no, it's giving Cindy Lou, not Cindy Lou Who. But I like Cindy Lou better than Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the news is true. We definitely have an hour drive, even though we only have to go like 14 miles. So, nap time? Ready. Part two. <laughs> Look at this traffic. One of my favorite things about New York, and it reminds me of being back home in LA, is the street vendors. Just got some fire mango, and it's perfectly ripe. Look how bright yellow it is. Bum, 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 bum. We finally made it an hour later. We are walking into the hotel, and we literally have to be downstairs and ready in like 45 minutes. Just made it to the room. Yes, look at this suite. It's so pretty in here. And I love that I'm not super, super high up because I be geeking out when I'm high up. I don't like being too high off the ground. This is high enough for me. Literally only have like 30 minutes to get ready, but this is why I did my makeup and my hair before I came. I slept on the plane though and kind of messed up my curls. So I might touch up my face just a little bit and curl this hair. I got a new Dyson Air Wrap and I'm completely obsessed with it. I just finally figured out how to use it as you guys know I'm not doing a lot of heat on my hair right now so I like that I can get beautiful body voluptuous curls without having to use a curling iron or a flat iron just using the blow dryer so why not come get ready with me let's go let's get into my outfit for tonight I am doing these nude Bottega sandals with this gold like ankle detail paired with my nude Bottega cassette bag I got some pasties y'all I got two options because we can't have the nips out y'all I am wearing this Mugler. Hopefully I said that right, because if not, Mackenzie gonna be making fun of me again. Little like, it's almost like turtleneck, but it's not turtleneck. Bodysuit with mesh and these super, super unique, beautiful pants that actually a friend of mine designed, my friend Paige. You guys make sure to go check out Front Page Designs. You guys have definitely seen some of her stuff in my other videos for me and the kids. Of course, my favorite go-to perfume, Flower Bomb. And then for those of you who know me, I like don't wear a lot of jewelry. Like I always have my ring on and my Cartier bracelets. And then of course, I always wear my kids' name plates, Bradley and Braylon. Shout out to our jeweler, Jason of Beverly Hills, cause he does it all. I'm just gonna pair it with this diamond choker and my two-tone Rolex and keep it simple and keep it cute. Let me tell you something that I am the worst at. I swear, anytime I have to go to a hotel and get ready, I am notorious for bringing something that needs to be zipped up. I can't tell you how many times I've had to call down to the front desk and ask like, can I have a female associate only please? Like, come up to my room, I need assistance with something and then I'm at the door like, can you zip me up please? <laughs> so yes, long story short, I'm in the middle of putting my bodysuit on but I have to wait for either Mackenzie or Kristen to come and zip me up because your girl can't zip. So I'm all hold. I mean, I guess so I can still make good sense of my time, I should play with this air wrap and see if I can do something to this hair because all of my curls fell. I'm gonna try and at least put like a little bit of curl in this. I feel like it's giving real, she just got off the plane and was sleeping the whole time. <laughs> 
This is my Dyson Airwrap and I brought just my two little curlers with. I'm still figuring it out y'all, so don't laugh at me because I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to use it, but I'm obsessed. Anybody who has some good tips on how to use this, help you grow out. I've been making do though, but I know there's definitely an easier way. But I am obsessed with this, you guys. I'm able to get volume and body without having to put a flat iron or a curling iron on my hair. Wait till you guys see this body when I'm done with it. We are finally all ready. Kristen, our miniature pony, has joined us. All her friends are tall. She loves tall friends. It's Mackenzie's booty for me, always. Aww. Down my friends look gorgeous. Yes. Let me show them you. No, 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 no. Seriously. You look cute. I look, look sweaty. At no. We're going to just go home to my kids. We literally are trying to hurry up and get to the car right now. Our driver's probably been here for five minutes. What time is it? What time is it? It's not seven. It's like 6.58 or something. But I told y'all we was gonna be late with Mackenzie. She just got to my room, but the driver's here. We're getting in the car right now. I'm gonna just hop in the front because I need to be by the air conditioning. It would stink out here. New York always stinks. Kristen, you sitting behind me, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I can put the seat all the way back. Crossing back over the bridge. We are in traffic. It's Mackenzie's fault. We're gonna it's be not. late. <laughs> Kristen was the first one in the room. Was Mackenzie was the last one. I was waiting on you. I didn't see more. Kristen's always on Caucasian time. She's gonna be ahead 50 minutes. You can count on MCP to be seven minutes late. I was <laughs> Were you late to my house today? No. You weren't late? Mackenzie's late, y'all. It's 10 minutes after 12. She was supposed to be here at 12. Y'all, she has arrived. She was late. Definitely standing on what I said. I can never live in New York. It's the only place where it takes you 20 minutes to go 0.3 miles. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And it's 721 and my husband gonna be on my ass if I'm not in my seats when the game starts. Lord, pray for us. Hey guys, we're good. Do you see the sign over there? Countdown till tip off, 11 minutes, 10.58 now. Hopefully we can make it. I feel like if Barclays is that close, it shouldn't take us that long to get there. We're already like right here. And if not, I might have to hop out and hike in the bottegas, okay? We made it, y'all. And we're not late, we're still on time. It's six minutes left, and they made us late because in this arena, nobody knew their head from their Everybody was saying something different. I sweat my hair off, but we finally here. We finally made it to our seats, and we made it to the game. Shout out to our jet broker, Al, at Apollo Jets. Stressing me out right no, now. I <laughs> my, you can't sit there. Look at you. I told you she's stressing me out. She's trying to sit in a seat that's prohibited. She's gonna get us kicked out the arena. Thank God we have Keisha with us. Because if it wasn't for Keisha, we would be out today. Because they're trying to get us kicked out the arena. No, not. They will be here. You lucky she night. Nice. Good morning, guys. One too many margaritas. We ended up going to dinner. I came back and it was just a wrap for me. I didn't even get to talk to you guys anymore last night. It's Tuesday morning. It's noon. I have to be downstairs at like 12 15 12 20 for the car to go to the airport to fly home to my babies Definitely sad. We didn't get the dub last night. We got 79 more games to go. We're two and one. I was excited that I got to come out Excited that I got to support my husband excited that I got to have some one-on-one -on -one time with him You know once you have kids they just Everywhere they be all in your business all in your personal space they crawl in your bed at four o'clock in the morning I love my baby so but definitely a appreciate the time that I do get to spend with my husband if I get to make an away game or you know we get some free time away from the kids. I'm about to try and get myself together get this bonnet off my head y'all know I'm bonnet cam okay so I can get ready to go catch this flight. We made it to the airport and guess what we are on time 
Mackenzie was on time today. I'm exhausted and misses six margaritas and keep ordering shots at dinner over here has me feeling like right now. You look good. You look good, sis. You, you look, look good. good. So a rare occasion of us being to the airport early. Mackenzie's about to make me look like a fat because I didn't order pizza, a salad, and some wings. She's drinking a smoothie. I didn't order those drinks. I have a chai latte, an iced tea, a water, a smoothie, and there's wings coming. You're not gonna help me eat nothing? No, sis. I'm going from burrito to taquito. You know what? At least she didn't call me a burrito this time, but this pizza's fire. <laughs> Y'all, we went from being early to sitting down and eating and being late, and now we have to run to the I told you I wasn't gonna do this, Mackenzie. Is the door closed? No way. There's literally no one here. Hold on. Yes, it's open. Go, 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 go. Guys, by the grace of God, we made it. Oh my God. I always say I'm not gonna run to an airport. I always end up running to a motherfucking airport. We were just sitting there enjoying our food, enjoying our drinks. I looked up and it was 1.49 and our flight left at 1.59. We finally made it home. I'm literally a zombie right now. I'm so exhausted. About to lay down and take like a little 30 minute power nap while my kids are still asleep for their nap. They'll wake up in like 30, 45 minutes. And then I gotta go run around and get last minute Halloween costumes and just stress myself out even more. I hope you guys enjoyed these little 24 hours in New York. I'm bummed we didn't get the win, but it was fun. It was just a spur of the moment, last minute thing. I'm glad I got to do it. It was some excitement. I got some time with my husband. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you can join our family so you don't miss another video and let us know below in the comments or let us know on instagram on our socials like what you guys want to see more of if you want to see more of the boys if you want to see more family stuff some more stuff you want to see from me do and fit from from me blah, 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 to do individually you guys i told you i'm a zombie so yeah let us know and we'll catch you next time